Good Thursday morning to you. I'm first to know meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland. Thanks for joining us on Sunrise. And a little over half an hour from now, the sun will be peaking above the horizon in places in central Florida where the damage has been done. But we've been getting damage reports in all night uh, from our stations all across Florida. And this was one of them. This is a 400 central construction site crane that has fallen, collapsed into a nearby building. Uh, and a lot of those areas are going to be blocked or, or seeing a little bit of damage from this crane across 400 Central. That's in St. Petersburg, Florida. So keep in mind these cranes, we were talking about it yesterday, they don't just come down in a few hours. I mean, it takes weeks sometimes to take down some of these major cranes. That This is a, a crane that was building the uh, major residential building across St. Pete uh, that's come down. It's just not an easy crane to take down. So when the winds come, you hope for the best. Unfortunately, this crane has collapsed there in downtown St. Pete, creating a lot of damage for the surrounding buildings as well. So um, we're still looking at, you know, not only that damage, but damage across the coastlines, inland as well. Millions without power this morning or more. 500,000 there in Hillsborough County without power. That's just in the Hills Hillsborough County area. That's where Tampa is, not including Pinellas County, where St. Petersburg is, where that crane came down. Over 220,000 just south of there near Port Charlotte, near Cape Coral, Fort Myers, 230,000. Look at that. Even on the eastern coast, 86,000 without power just east of Orlando. So a lot of these major areas got hit with wind, rain, and storm surge all contributing to that power outage a total all across central Florida early this morning. Milton continues to push to the east. The heaviest rain and wind continue to stay on the north side of that what is ragged eye wall now. Still holding as a Category 1 hurricane, but still moving east early this morning. Here at home, you know, very limited impacts. A lot of people who were evacuating this morning are waking up to first signs of damage, first sites of damage, especially as that sun rises. We'll have more on that. Otherwise, it's just breezy here with some cooler temperatures for these early morning hours, Maya.